Cross in vain, mirror fane, gone insane, but the album still remains. Yeah, do lip dill lip dill dill lip dill. We added some fuel and we added some drums, but at the end of the day, this album still sucks. Yeah, doodle doodle doodle. Oh. What's up guys, Bane Slave here, and today we yeah 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 reload <laughs> This is part two of Metallica's country double album called Load. But this one is like reload. The first one was just a load of shit, and then they just kind of reloaded this piece of shit and they shot it back at us. And we took it again and we ate it. Ah, oh, God. Reload. Even on the fucking album cover, it didn't, it doesn't even, it doesn't, I, come on. Come on. It just looks like they wrote re over load. Like they were like, uh, it's about time to put out a new album. Get some more pieces of shit together and just kind of get the same artwork and, you know, just write re on it and then sell it. It'll go platinum number one, which it did, of course. Of course. Of course it did. You know, you figure we would have learned the first time. They redid it. And it did good again. I don't know. I don't get it. I'm lost too. Whatever. So. Reload actually is a little bit better than load. Come on, let's be honest. Uh, instead of blood and semen on the front this time, they got some piss and semen. So they put some piss and semen on the front and then sold it to us again in a box of shit. First song on the album is called Fuel. Um, and this song is good. Um, pretty much, you put this album on and you listen to Fuel, and you're like, yeah, Fuel, that's good. Good chorus. You know, cool little intro with James. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it is actually a good song, oddly enough. It sounds new, but in a good way. It's weird. Good stuff. Good job, Metallica. You did good somehow on this piece of shit. Good for you. Yeah, so it's a pretty good song. Um, next song on the album is called The Memory That Remains. And this is a big fucking hit. And it's fucking almost on every single documentary that you watch about Metallica. For some reason, they like that intro of the video. But the song itself is <laughs> garbage. Next song on the album is Devil's Dance. And this starts out just, oh man, heavy bass drums, very, very slow and pounding bass, it's like tuned in D, uh, or like D flat, something fucking low, and sure, yeah, that's kind of cool for like a couple minutes, no, I mean a couple seconds, and then you know what, it just kind of <laughs> fizzles out, it shits out, you know, um, so uh, the next song is called The Unforgiven, two, what? The Unforgiven 2? What are you... Are you really that uncreative that you're gonna just say, oh, The Unforgiven 2? It's again, again, we put this piece of shit album together and then we made a number two and then we put this okay song together and then we made a number two for that. You know, we couldn't really think of another song title. We were too busy thinking of Ain't My Bitch and, you know, Fixer and all that boring shit. Um, and The Unforgiven 2, it has the same exact intro as uh, The Unforgiven 1, okay, and then when it comes in with the actual guitar part, it's like all country and bluesy and meh. I mean, at least they're consistent, you know? Um, yeah, but yeah, though, it's uh, it's no good. No, 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 no. It just makes you want to listen to The Unforgiven with no number on it. Just the Unforgiven, please. Thank you. 
you know, I never thought that I would be in a situation where I actually wanted to listen to the Black Album, but you guys put me there. And maybe that's why everybody thinks the Black Album's so good, because of all the shit that you put out after it. Anyways, uh, speaking of which, the next song is called Better Than You. Um, <laughs> more of the same shit. I'm going to tell you right now, if you like Load, you like this sound... Um, they're very consistent with these two albums because you're going to get more of the same shit, just tiny bit better. Uh, next song on the album is called Slither. Yeah. Um, pfft, garbage. Next song on the album is called Carp Diem Baby. And, you know, that's, I believe it's Latin for like, uh, oh, what was it? Oh, fuck it. Some dumb bitch had a tattoo of it on her. Um, Seize the Day. There we go. Seize the Day, baby. And, uh, you know, it's not a bad song. It's kind of cool. It's slower, a little bit ballady ish um, But, you know what? I listen to it, and I'm like, okay, well, that that's not hurting my ears like the rest of this album, but I'm not going to go back and listen to it. You know, it's not like a big classic. <laughs> you know, so whatever. Uh, next song is called Bad Seed. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Next song is called well, Where the Wild Things Are. And um, this song has nothing to do with the children's book. In that the children's book is a iconic uh, and brilliant classic in our culture. And this song is an iconic piece of shit on an album that has uh, piss and semen as an album cover. Uh, next song on the album is called Prince Charming. And um, this song's actually really good. Um... I'm just kidding, it's garbage. Next song on the album is called Low Man's Lyric. Low Man, yeah. Low, low, reload, low. Nope. No good. More of the same. Next song is called Attitude. And, you know, by the time I made it to the song on the album, once again, this album's almost 80 minutes. Now I'm starting to kind of understand maybe why they put this album out within two years, because it takes almost two years to get done with both uh, albums, with both CDs. Um, and I, you know, at this point, I actually did start getting an attitude. I was like, fuck you, man, make it end already. It's so long and shitty. Um, and all that good shit. Um, next song is called Fixer, but this is like you know, like a fucking unrated fixer. You know why? Because they have three X's in there. It's like XXX, you know? And uh, it just kind of made me, you know, want to go watch porn and, instead of listening to this hunk of shit album. Um, but then again, this album does get kinky in the fact that they do throw blood and, and, uh, and I mean, semen and piss at you. Um, so, I mean, you guys aren't surprised probably by this uh, review. It's another bad album. It's just more of the same. It's, it's consistent shit. Um, and for for those of you who think that, oh yeah, you know, you're fucking hating on Metallica and all this shit, I'm just gonna tell you this. Number one, yeah, okay, you know what? It's not my kind of music. Maybe it's yours. And number two, it really feels like just Metallica were not taking themselves seriously and they were kind of laughing at us. So you know what? I'm laughing at them. They have made great music, um, but it wasn't on Load or Reload. Um, sorry, they just don't do this kind of music well, as I made out in my first review uh, of Load. Um, God, I cannot believe I listened to both of these albums. That's all I'm going to say. Um... I wish I liked it, because there's a lot there. Yeah, so I'm going to give Reload uh, by Metallica 3.5 out of uh, 10. And the reason why I added the 0.5 is because Fuel actually is a really good song. And uh, they still play it live pretty much every concert. And I wouldn't mind seeing it. It's a good song. Um, but for the rest of it, garbage. Later, guys.